What's up everyone? Hello again and welcome to another video finally. So I decided I was going to sell out and buy the ultimate edition of FIFA 23. That includes the 4600 extra FIFA points that you're spending 25 to $30 extra on top of the 60 to $70 that you're you most likely already spent on this game. For a long time, I refused to spend money on packs. Ever since FIFA 16, I figured it was worth my time. It was more worthwhile for me to just grind out the game. But then uh, last year, they started offering these five-dollar packs, and I bought a couple of them. Just pretty smart on the eighth part. Now I've kind of decided to go all in with this Ultimate Edition with the 4,600 points. Honestly, I'm kind of, I'm not sure if I'm going to be tempted to buy more packs, but obviously if you if you spend once on points, you're more likely, more than likely than not, you're going to spend again in the future. Just a matter of when. And which kind of sucks because, I mean, 60 to 70 dollars, depending on um, which version you buy, at this point is, I, it's way overpriced, especially when you think when you think about each version of FIFA since they're going back to what, FIFA 15, FIFA 16. We're talking about seven to eight years. They kind of all felt pretty similar. There's good. There's, there's there are some gameplay differences between each version of the game. And there are some, along with cosmetic overhauls, I kind of wish the game would be free to play, but it's that's not going to happen anytime soon. All, all the stuff they've added, and the changes, the changes they've changed now, now teams over the years, they've added licenses, they've added cutscenes, Present, new presentation, a few tweaks here and there to appease career mode players, but over time they're going to start to feel stale. I mean, the latest game they did is kind of talk about hyper motion. It's kind of I mean, it's pretty much a gimmick in my opinion that doesn't really translate to better gameplay. Especially when player movement at times can feel clunky and the passing can feel non-responsive. I mean, all of this, I think EA is trying to emulate simulation this year more than before, but I'm not sure if it's quite cutting it. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. But, you know, at the end of the day, why, why buy the game, especially the Ultimate Edition? I mean, it's either you're an Ultimate Team Junkie, or it's for content creation, and Good luck if it if you're just buying it just because you're addicted to FUD because I mean this game resets every year. You're not going to be able to keep the cards after a certain amount of time. And the life cycle is 12 months. You're not going to get that. And, but for me, definitely it's both. I mean, I, I've kind of denied it for a long time, but this year I've kind of decided to embrace it. Even if I didn't spend money beyond the game itself, I know I'm still gonna grind it out. And that's honestly that's why this game is not gonna be free to play. Because you're not spending 60, 65, 70 dollars for a new game of FIFA, but it's pretty much more like a pay-to-play entrance fee. I mean never mind you never mind the hate of this game being pay to win. I mean, you're just paying to play. Never mind pay to win, but our ultimate team and the ultimate team concept is just too popular for companies like EA to ignore maximizing profit off the player demand, unfortunately. But I mean, for me, wh wh why by the ultimate edition. It's pretty much because now I have a head start on content. 
you know, some of the loan players I'm going to get, some of the coins I'm going to make from selling the players in these packs, that means more immediate content possibilities. More po possibilities for more, for more videos, better videos. And since I already have a dedicated squad or two for rivals and squad battles and stuff, there's no need for me to keep a lot of this fodder in my club. I can use it to create more SBCs, which is how I started FIFA content on this, on this channel in the first place. That's going back all the way back to FIFA 17. So, I mean, doing SBCs alone gives me purpose for playing this game. I kind of like the puzzle style element of SBCs, although it's kind of dumbed down a bit. And I'm not, I, there's no way I could consider myself a pro player. I, I, but I've always had a high enthusiasm for Ultimate Team for a very long time. So, as far as content goes, now being able to branch out from just SBCs, hopefully, to more player reviews and gameplay analysis, is a better way to create content as opposed to just streaming all the time and doing a lot of the silent playthroughs that I would do. Hopefully, it's just a, a way to make better quality content, honestly. I mean, the key is finding time to make this happen. Right now, obviously, this channel is not going to pay any bills, and it's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of effort. But I'm going to give it a shot, and you know, wish me luck, and God forbid this channel will go silent again. The next time it goes silent, it might be for good. But if, feel free to join me on this journey if you. So help. Uh, Help the channel out, like and subscribe, and ring the bell and all that good stuff that everyone tells you to do. Uh, but I would honestly appreciate it. But that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching. And until next time, peace out guys. Have a good have a good rest of your day and enjoy the rest of the pack.